is going right. Pain pole, that one, baby. So, you saw in one of our previous episodes, we were fishing a mouth that it passes and hit Lake Catherine. We're still on the same day. That only took a minute to do that. So we wanted to do something different. We were gonna go up in these ditches, up in the marshes off the intercoastal. But as I was coming in this big lagoon here, I saw the water was gin clear. So I got up on the bank I like to do that a lot and I see to see if I push any reds off and I shoved a couple reds tied on the matrix crawl there she goes I already saw two that were like 20 25 pounds they, they didn't bite they were spooked but I don't know if I wanted any of that anyway caught the five pounder this is the ones we want away from the pack. we got tons of fish here comes two right here three four Look at him coming. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, he came off. He peeled off. Look, there's four right there. Oh, being spooky. There's one by himself. That one ate. Look at all these fish, guys. Look here. That's not even my fish. It's another one. That's another one. There's another one. Fish for days. Let me see if my cameraman can go catch one while we're in the middle. Of, look at all the dust clouds. That is incredible. How many fish were right here just now? Look to the left. You see one? There's one. That sure. right here, right here, in the high in that mud cloud. I don't have here, right oh, there. see it there's another one right there. there's another one there's my fish just a tremendous school right there guys had to be 15 of them trying to double up here it's a little hard with trying to do the camera and fish. Like I'm reeling in with my thumb. All right, well, we couldn't pull off the double. Let's go ahead and just get this single in. Get this single in. I mean, I cannot get over how many reds are in here right now. It is impressive, I can tell you that. I hope you got I hope you could see all of that action. There's dust clouds, fish swimming everywhere. We saw them tailing. Got the pumpkin patch on now. Had the Chinese bandit on earlier. Beautiful fish. Look at this cut right here. You can see that water kind of flowing out from the cut into the uh, big lagoon here. There's get there's bound to be some right around this area. School. I'm seeing a lot of dust clouds. Oh yeah, there he is right there. Look at them all. Oh yeah. 
out of here. Full school level out of here. Like fighting over it. There you go. They all fighting over Look how many fish this is. See this? Now the beauty. Big fat slob right there. Absolutely incredible how many fish are down this shoreline right now. Absolutely unbelievable. Again, got that one on the Matrix Crawl. Did not plan on sight fishing today, but always be observant when you're out here, guys. Like, if I'm if I see that water's gin clear. And I'm on a shoreline, instead of shooting straight to the cut I was going to, this whole lagoon here is pretty shallow, so I pressed it kind of tight to the bank, and the moment I shot a redfish off the bank, I shut it down, put the trolling motor down, saw it had some good grass tied on the matrix crawl. I didn't know there'd be this many redfish in here, but when I tell you we've seen at least 50, and we've only done this for about 15 to 20 minutes. They're kind of spooky, but there's so many of them that you just have unlimited opportunities and we keep trying to get a double but it's just so hard with the kit trying to run the camera in catch two at a time he's high coming at us guys see we're out here catching these redfish you get to see that bite so we're using a matrix matrix crawl so the big deal with this is how much uh, disturbance it makes in the water and you can see on that video that fish wasn't even really close to it and he saw all the paddling uh, couldn't couldn't resist it man and uh, he was floating high did what we wanted him to do uh, can't beat this bait uh, it's a beautiful day out here it's nice to get out here and do some sight fishing again and uh, that's all I got to say all right so what you want to do and we've went over this a million times, but in the winter time, these fish, even though they're in the shallows, like redfish don't necessarily get out the shallows just because it's cold. The water temperatures are pretty chilly right now, but they're not really low. Whenever I find the reds go to the deeper water, it's typically when it's cold, but also the water gets sucked out of the marsh from big west and northwest winds, and they're forced into the bayous. But right now, it is a little bit warmer of a winter day and the water's at like a nice level and they're in the flats. So when I've got clean water like I got and I saw when we came in here, I wanna get up on a platform. If all you got is an ice chest or a bucket, whatever, just get up elevated. That way your eyes can dig down into the water. You want your eye vision coming at an angle rather than parallel to the water. And that's gonna help you see these fish. Now, there's enough fish in this situation right here where you could probably just slow roll a spinner bait or pop a cork or even slowly bounce a jig and do well but it is so much fun being able to sight fish them and we are seeing so many reds and kind of got the sun at an angle right here when i turn into the shoreline more you can see better because the sun's at your back and whenever you're doing this you want to do as much as you can to keep the sun at your back as often as possible it's just going to help your vision of being able to see these fish uh, you know swimming and floating around so on and so forth there's a big one right here in front of us oh wait here's another one Oh, I 
mean, cane pole that one, baby. Cane pole. I seen him tailing earlier. I told the cameraman, flip the camera on. And then we're in like a little channel right now, and he kind of submarine down, and I couldn't get, I couldn't get another visual on him. But I knew he, I knew we were getting close because he was swimming this way and the boat was going that way. I knew I only had a few more seconds before that fish was either gonna see the boat or I was gonna lose sight of him. This is a tank here. Tank. He's bringing me on the rodeo rope a dope here. Holy moly. To this side. All right, what side of the boat you want to be on? He's, he don't know what he wants to do. Big dude, big dude. This is my biggest one of the day for sure. Look at that. It's absolutely in incredible day we're having. I hadn't seen this many redfish in a day in a long time. Great to see these dudes. Really, really coming alive here as we get into the winter. Big old boy, look how clean that water is. Look how clean that water is. I better have been able to see this one floating in the pond. He's 30 inches long. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. Gonna go ahead and close it out here. Again, use the matrix crawl all day in multiple colors. I'm telling you, we shot this video in simply 20 minutes. Like, I can't even tell you how many fish are out there right now. Went ahead and popped a blue matrix tag in this one. We got plenty, no need to keep any more. Gonna let this one go. Come on, baby. Come on. There he goes. Just took him a second to realize he was back in the water, time to swim off. Go ahead and close the video out there. Recapture that fish, win a prize from matrixshad.com. Subscribe to the monthly bait box here. Oh, got the towel in there. Subscribe to the monthly bait box here. We're gonna be putting some matrix crawls in it after this epic episode of just seeing gazillions of reds right here off the marshes of Lake Bourne. It's an awesome day. Can't wait. We're going to maybe do a little bit more catch and releasing, but we're going to go ahead and close the video out. Subscribe to the box. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We got all kinds of cool stuff like what you saw today on there. Get your hands on some stuff from matrixshare.com, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Until next time, good fish.